Hello investors, this is a video on 361. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Like our videos, share our videos, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for new video notifications. This video covers the performance of the company in the second quarter or FI 24. 361's unique proposition has been created with deep competitive modes that have been built since inception. 361 proposition is performance plus long term focus always on approach to clients and stakeholders. The company is focused on wealth and asset management with deep research and no conflicts of interest. Deep long standing client relationships that have grown with based on trust investment rigor and delivered performance. Deep culture of innovation in product development and in anticipating responding to clients' needs. The company is a pioneer the move to advisory with transparent and aligned business interests with clients. The company has ability to hire and retain best talent across sales, investments, operating teams as the firms of choice. The company has got robust and resilient investment and risk management processes across business domains. The company is in a leadership position in the focus business areas provide significant growth opportunities over the near and long term. In the wealth management category, it has got ultra high net worth segment, high net worth segment. In the ultra high net segment, deepening of existing client relationships and expand valid share expanding footprint with strong traction from next tire cities and select overseas locations, strengthened advisory propositions to win mandates and additional client share. In the high net worth segment, it has got high potentiality uh, due to strategy, proposition and platform developed. Significant develop digital enablement through industry first features, its user group testing, Go to market approach and sales teams is under built out already. Under the asset management category, alternate strong traction across current strategies, PE listed, private credit, real assets, international and domestic institutions mandate opportunities, new strategies, ramping up investment across teams. In the mutual fund schemes, Select build-outs continue to be on the lookout for differentiated opportunities. Continued build-out of select distribution reach with domestic intermediaries, specialty with individual MF distributors. Selective product launches with opportunity to grow presence further. Now let us look at the performance of the company in the Q2 FI24. Wealth management is under INR 138,000 crores equivalent of 17 billion dollars ARR AUM 8000 crore ARR net flows Q2 FI24 313 crore operating revenue 6900 relevant families distribution brokerage advisory lending and estate planning the total ARR net flows INR 6000 crores in Q2 FI24 361 has ARR AUM of 203,000 crores. Total AUM in Indian rupees 413,000 crores, which is equivalent to 14.7 billion. In the asset management, the company has INR 64,000 crores. In net flows, INR 2.1 thousand crores. And company has 182,000 plus folios. In a snapshot, the growth in year-on-year -year growth in ARR AUM is 30.7, 48.6% cost to income ratio. Company has achieved 73% ARR revenue as a percentage of total operating revenue, 7.3% year-on-year growth in profit after tax, 28.3% return on tangible equity, 110 plus average count of families managed per team leader. And company has declared a dividend of 4 rupees per share in FY24 so far. The key financial highlights include under AUM category, continued focus on recurring revenue, assets, ARR, AUM, 
up 30.7 percent year on year currently standing at 2 lakh 2536 crores year on net flows for q2 fy24 were at 5743 crores totaling 18718 crores for first half of fy24 in line with fy24 guidance in the revenues company second quarter fy22 24 is year revenue is 9 percent up year on year at 311 crores and up 8.3 percent year on year at 3 635 crores in first half of fy24 led by growth in assets across business segments revenue from operations for q2 fy24 is up 11.8 percent year on year and up 5.4 percent quarter on quarter at 427 crores and up 10% year on year at 833 crores for the first half of FY24. Total revenues for second quarter FY24 are up 9% year on year and 16% quarter on quarter is currently at 441 crores and 13.1% year on year at 875 crores for the first half of FY24. Total cost increased to 214 crores, 19.5% uh, year on year plus 2% quarter on quarter due to strengthening of senior sales team and annual salary increases. Employee cost stood at 159 crores while administrative costs are 55 crores. Cost to income ratio stands at 48.6% against 48.4% in Q1 FI24. Profitability. Uh, when you look at uh, three, this 360.1 is uh, at profit before tax is up 0.6 percent year on year at 227 crores and 5.5 percent at 451 crores for the first half of FI24. Profit after tax is at uh, 825 crores up 7.3 percent and 367 crores for the first half of FI24. Tangible ROE is at 28.3% uh, and uh, company is uh, valued at 27.7% uh, in Q2 FI23, an increase of 28.3%. Segmental business snapshot quarterly, wealth management in first quarter, in second quarter of FI24, ARR is at 1,38,243 crores and ARR net flows is 19,621 crores. ARR revenue is at 399 crores in the first half of FI24. In the wealth management category, the total profit before tax is 157 crores in Q1 FI24, whereas it is at 168 crores in second quarter. For the half year FI24, the profit before tax is at 325 crores. This is a snapshot of combined active ARR assets. Active ARR include 31,000 AUM comprising of non-fee bearing assets, treasury, other assets with fee less than 5 basis points and liquid funds. 65-75% to of the non-fee low fee bearing assets reflects the lag between inflows coming from new clients and its conversion to regular yielding ARR AUM. Strategic initiatives underway on Converting the low yield bearing AUM clients to regular retention under the appropriate engagement model. The capital allocation dividend industry net worth tangible is 2,666 crores, wealth management is 619 crores, lending is at 1,452 crores, asset management is 242 crores, fixed assets are 323 crores, goodwill plus tangible is 621 crores, and total of 3,265 crores. The company has an excellent dividend paying record and the last one year they have declared more than 12 rupees per share. In the FI24 till date it has already given 12 rupees and it's likely to give another 4 rupees in the month of January February next year. A dividend of 4 rupees will reduce tangible net worth and uh, if you look at Q2 FI24, ROE is 22.8%, tangible ROE is at 
so this is about the company 360.1 uh, let us look at the share performance in the last uh, one year the share has been trading very steadily and uh, currently it is trading at 656 rupees as of 22nd december and today it is up 3.18 uh, percent in the last one month the share price has gone up by 20.77 percent and in the last six months the share price has gone up 45.11 percent it's currently trading very strong the script had a year high of uh, 395 rupees and a year high of 980 rupees and currently trading at 656 rupees considering the backdrop of the company and excellent management we expect the share to do well in the coming years the company has got a good reputation among its clients and is likely to do well in the next couple of years this video is brought to you by smart investor like our videos share our videos subscribe to our channel Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. This video is only for education purposes and you are requested to get in touch with your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thank you.